So ever since Winwing announced their hardware versions of the A320 MCDU and the 737 FCU at FS Expo, it got me thinking, do I commit to the Airbus version or the Boeing version? As while they look similar, they do have different button layouts and I feel using an Airbus MCDU, say with the 737, could be a bit interesting. And that's without considering other planes outside of Airbus or Boeing. Now, a goal of my flight sim setup has always been to remain as plane agnostic as possible. That is to say, I've got no issue buying Boeing or Airbus branded hardware, but I want to ensure that whatever I end up with, it can work well across a range of aircraft types. Hence, I run Airbus throttles alongside a Boeing yoke, much to the uh, dismay of everyone on TikTok. So rather than locking myself into a certain aircraft type, I started to look for alternate solutions and the obvious one that came up was using a tablet. Now a tablet of course can throw up any user interface on its display, meaning you can switch between Boeing or, or Airbus or whatever other planes you can find that are supported. Some research led me to a piece of software called Simbox, which allows you to control your Airbus MCDU or Boeing FMC via a touchscreen tablet. What I liked is that it's kind of like a one-stop shop for Airbus and Boeing. It supports both the Fly-By-Wire A32NX, the Phoenix A320, the PMDG 737 and the new PMDG 777. Heck, it even supports the ATR and CRJ. So what we're going to do today is we're going to give it a test and see what's what. Now, full disclosure, I ended up emailing the developer asking some questions in preparation for this video, during which um, he kindly offered to provide us a free license so we can check this out together on the channel. So massive thanks to the developer for that. Um, that's why the video is tagged as being a paid promotion. You might have spotted that when you clicked onto it. Uh, though it's important to know I'm not being paid. I make no commissions or anything like that if you should decide to buy it. Uh, and the developer has no say over the content of this video, but YouTube insists that you disclose whenever you're given money or something of value to make a video uh, which is only right in my opinion so rest assured i've got no motive here um, i'll share my honest and complete thoughts with you all i'll leave links in the video description uh, where you can learn more so once the simbox app is installed to your pc activate your license head over to the plugins menu and install simbox connect and simbox panel then you can jump into the sim so we're going to start things off with the PMDG 737. Now, while Simbox supports the PMDG Phoenix and the Fly-By-Wire, in the case of the Phoenix and the Fly-By-Wire, you could manage without Simbox as you can access the MCDU via a web browser. Uh, now, this is where the app earns its money, really, with the PMDG, as you can't just load the FMC in a web browser like you can with the Phoenix and the Fly-By-Wire. Um, though I do still think there's some value in having all three planes handled within one app, kind of all under one roof, so to speak. I'm a big fan of simplicity and reducing friction. What with the release of the MD-11, I've also asked the developer if there are any plans to support that. I haven't heard back yet, but if I do, I'll leave a, a pinned comment down below, so keep an eye out down there. So now you're in the sim, you're going to want to head up to the little uh, top menu bar thing in the sim and you'll see two Simbox icons. You're going to want to click on the one that says Simbox Connect. This is what's going to allow Simbox to connect to the sim without completing this step. You're going to really struggle to get it to work. Then head back to the Simbox Control app on your sim PC and you should see that it is now connected to the sim. Get yourself the Simbox app for iOS or Android and then you can connect that app to your SIM PC either by scanning the QR code within the SIMBOX tablet app or by typing in the IP address shown just beneath that QR code and you'll be good to go. Now this is where the app does its clever stuff with the PMDG. It actually creates an extra monitor within your Windows display settings which allows you to pop out the FMC screen by holding the right alt key on your keyboard and then left clicking it. You can then drag this over and you'll see it appear on your tablet in the FMC screen area. Maximize the window and you'll be in business. One teeny tiny gripe I had is that there's a little white bar at the bottom of the screen. Um, rather than maximizing the window, I also tried making it go full screen by pressing Alt and Enter, but that made it even worse. Maybe I'm messing something up, um, but either way, it's, it's a very small issue. I can live with a, a little white bar for now. And from there, you can just start using the FMC via your tablet. You can hopefully see through the video that it's nice and responsive. Um, you can see the FMC in the sim updating in near real time as I press buttons on uh, the iPad. This is super cool. And it's worth noting that um, it also does work with the recently released PMDG 777, 
which is actually another important point because imagine you decided to buy a piece of hardware let's say you go for the Boeing 737 FMC and you then decide oh great I'm going to now fly the 777 well there are there are actually subtle differences between the 737 and the 777 so uh, even Boeing to Boeing you may not get a perfect map between the two Again, this kind of strengthens the argument for a, a tablet-based approach. It's kind of like when Steve Jobs first demoed the original iPhone. A huge part of that pitch was that the other phones at the time all, or more or less, all had plastic keyboards. So if a manufacturer thought of a great idea six months down the road, well, you, you can't go around and add another button to the phones. That they're, they're already shipped. They're made in plastic. You just can't do it. But if you move to a touchscreen, you can throw any user interface up on it, uh, whether it's now or six months, 12 months down the road. And for those wondering, the setup for the 777 is exactly the same as the 737. So just follow the steps uh, that I've shown here for the 737 um, and you'll be in business on the 777 as well. Let's switch over to the Phoenix Airbus A320. And again, make sure the Simbox Connect button in the top menu uh, there at the top of the sim is toggled to the on position. Um, and also, if you've been in a different plane beforehand, let's say the PMDG 737 that we were just in, uh, you might need to head over to the Home tab on the tablet app and switch profiles to the plane you are now in. Then, once that's done, uh, you can head over to the MCDU tab and you're in business, as you can see nice and responsive kind of clicking around here in the FMC it's really nice same story with the fly-by-wire though you'll need to be on the development branch I believe and also have Simbridge installed which can be done via the fly-by-wire installer now to reiterate I am well aware that you do not need to spend money on this app if all you're interested in is the Phoenix A320 or the fly-by-wire A32NX however if like me you're interested in other aircraft in my case that's the PMDG 737 and 777 it's a really nice feature to have the Airbus planes taken care of by this app as well. Um, there's a grid view on the developer's website where they break down which planes are supported by the app and again which features are supported on a, on a plane by plane basis. This app can do a bunch of other stuff um, including but not limited to kind of turning the lights on and off on the aircraft um, but I think for me I can't see myself using much of that other stuff. I think this is primarily going to be a means for me to be using the Boeing FMC or the Airbus MCDU via my tablet. Um, the next thing really for me to consider is what is an appropriate tablet for this kind of uh, use case. For today's video I've sneakily pinched my uh, wife and kids iPad that they use but it's quite a big screen. It seems a little bit overkill for uh, what we're doing here. Maybe like an 8 inch Android tablet might, might be the way to go. You can pick those up at reasonably affordable prices. If you've got any thoughts or experience uh, please do leave a comment. It'd be really great to hear from you. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Let me know if you've got any questions. Again, thank you to the developers of Simbox for allowing us to check this out on the channel. Again, I'm not being paid. I have no agenda with this video. Um, I just hope this video could be useful if you're considering something like this. If you've enjoyed the video, hitting the like button helps a ton and get subbed so you don't miss out on any future content. Until next time, folks, take the very best care of yourselves. And as always, happy flying.